welcome everyone and uh, today we have five awesome books to hear about from five awesome speakers yeah who have actually taken a lot of trouble to put uh, put the content together and share their learning with us so we have uh, nlp at work uh, from pushpa uh, the extraordinary coach from sherin unlimited memory from shehani blue ocean strategy from joao and then thanks for the feedback uh, from chatura and uh, our next speaker is actually joao uh, joao garcia and he's actually joining us uh, from abu dhabi today uh, but joao is from portugal originally he's a mechanical engineer he has lived and worked in spain uk and currently he's in uh, sorry he's in abu dhabi he has lived and worked in spain uk and uh, uae uh, working in different roles as a marine engineer a business development manager and for the last 7 years uh, as a project manager uh, yeah he has a strong passion and interest for sports business and learning and i think that's why he's here also today related to self improvement and personal development so uh, joao is actually very special uh, to the whole uh, uh, to 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 my uh, to my journey teaching speed reading because joao is the first uh, uh, what international or foreign national to to be to be taught speed reading uh, by me uh, especially online so so joao i would i will always remember you <laughs> right because that was that was fantastic uh, and joao says on speed reading it has helped him to increase his joy of reading and as he has utilized it to learn more through books and be able to retain more and he says he is currently reading at an average of almost 800 uh, words per minute so the book that joao is going to talk about today is blue ocean strategy uh, which is a very very interesting book uh, to over to joao on blue ocean strategy all yours uh, one second Hello everyone. I uh, I would just wanted to share with you uh, this book. It's uh, I must say it is a bit towards the the business, the research that uh, and that the authors uh, developed was mostly on more on the business uh, line. However, this is very much applicable into our day-to-day -day lives, even though I'm not. uh well i i was throughout my career but i'm not really so deep into into business uh as such now i'm more into project management but in any case this uh, this this strategy and this concept ha has helped me a lot to understand uh some doubts i had in the past uh basically just to, to just to 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 give an example is when i was uh, just going graduated from the university i was doing many jobs and apprenticeships and uh, many times I, i would hear ah this is the way we do it uh, because I've, we've been doing this for 10 years uh no need to change it's working good it's getting efficient why change and uh, and this type of approach and type of uh, statement never convinced me actually and uh, and i always been having my own initiative to try to find different ways to try to find more value more more more, more different uh sometimes solutions but i i never found uh, a scientific uh, explanation for that till i came across this book about 5 years ago uh and i read it and it it made a lot of sense in in the sense that uh, i don't know sanjit if you want to go to the next slide yeah so so when i when i came through through this uh, at that time um i was i was back in uh, in london and uh, yeah it opened my mind in a sense that this is no more no less than the method that we all hear is look at the big picture yes it's looking at the big picture but it's always difficult to 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 picture and to see the big picture without having a a, a, a scientific or a tool to to guide you towards 
uh, whatever you, you, you're trying to aim uh, on the so-called uh, big picture method. So, uh, uh, so, uh, so, so this, this method is mostly focused on trying to get uh, a contested market space. So basically is to motivate Uh, I don't know, you just only uh, sell pens. Uh, and then you get stuck into that. Your main target is obviously because there is no much uh, advantage on value on your product because of all your competitors, you only get stuck into uh, into price. So, and, and, then, and then by getting down to price, you obviously lose your, lose your profit margins you start getting uh getting a little bit um uh having obviously uh start having by having the profit margin you start having less uh profit to maintain to to pay salaries to to give benefit and value to your business so what this strategy is is basically eliminate all the factors of of uh, relevant to the competition create try to create within your business even though you you are selling pens it doesn't mean that you cannot sell also other stationery so it's trying to get you outside the box and try to create your own market within your company to create what's so called uh, blue ocean where you find new customers or new new market demand you find uh you, you minimize the risk because you are fulfilling a, a surface that is required um and and obviously your your business will be more diversified and you will have a much more uh, consistent and stable and healthy business uh, ahead so I think, can we go the other one uh, okay uh, so yeah, so the, the, the full the full uh, goal of this strategy is obviously to, uh, after all, is to minimize the risk. By minimizing the risk is obviously because if you are creating a niche or, or, or fulfilling a, a demand in a market that you didn't have it before, uh, obviously it, it is easier for you to increase the prices and to get more value into this the new customers and reach people that otherwise you'd never reach if you didn't have that idea or that creation or that innovation so so this is what it says new demand new customer new marketplace it's all focused on value innovation so that it motivates a lot of your create creativity and uh, market um, factors then how they do it is, is through a strategy sequence, which I'll show you later on with, uh, with a real example of, of, of a company of, of establishment that we all know. So basically the, the main goal on a business side is obviously to, 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 to have a better or a higher profit. In order to have a higher profit, you need to increase the value and by increasing the value, obviously you can have a lower cost and, which will increase your, your profit consequently. And uh, this strategy is only known or effective or being, effect, uh, being known as effective if obviously the risk is very low because the, if, if you don't have much of a competition in that blue ocean and, uh, and you can provide as much value to a new customer list, obviously your, your, your pricing will be much better than it was before in your, uh, your in your uh, current situation sorry sanjit uh, one more 
picture. Yeah, so here it compares a little bit what is this red ocean, which is a conventional uh, mindset of business. So let's say that way, where the red ocean will compete in the existing marketplace. So you are not able to come out of this creative um, thoughts and you are not able to, to, to come out of your uh, daily battles, basically. So you just try to, to beat the competition and just try to, within your new limited uh, value gains, you just try to beat them on price, which is mostly what all, all of this ends up into. So you only explore the existing demand. You, you don't look much uh, behind. You don't see on other, other potential customers, other segments. Sometimes you are only dealing in medical, but you can deal in marine, you can deal in aviation. They all, let's say, depends. They all need pens, right? So, so, so you just need to look at a little bit outside the box and try to, to maximize uh, value and through, and through specific service uh, that is also, or might also be required elsewhere. So yeah, so so the the this strategy doesn't yeah as as I said is very limited into the value that they can bring against the cost because they are limited to the competition. And uh, the whole system normally it's it's aligned with its own activities and strategies, like the example I've told you before, where a lot of people say, ah, oh, this has been. Uh, the process for the past 10 years, it always worked very well. Uh, why change? There is no, no much to, to, to be done right now. So this, this type of approach obviously is very limited because the markets are very volatile, keep on changing with globalization and so on, competition. So you need to be flexible enough to, to go from, um, from A to B basically. Or the other approach they normally do is the low cost, where you just don't have any creativity. You just uh, convince yourself this is what you do and you just drop the price. And obviously, eventually you will get so much uh, stuck where you cannot go any lower, otherwise you lose your business. So, so yeah, that's the conventional. And then you have the other side, obviously, the blue ocean, which what we're trying to what the book mentions, which is obviously create a contestant marketplace, create a new place. The competition is no relevance, that there is no competition because within, within the company, you should uh, anyway, if you diversify and try different sources of, of, of values, you, you don't have a specific competitor, right? Because you, on one segment, you might have company A that does a little bit like you, on the other service, the company B, on the other service, maybe company C. So you end up always into a diversified and, um, and healthy uh, business uh, when it comes to, to, to costs and to price. Even if you have one of the products or something that obviously is stuck into this red ocean, if you always try to, to, to go around and try to, to still get that customer base, but try to sell him something else. You see that you now have your uh, blue ocean, you have your high profit profitability, you have your value then. So you should be flexible enough to move within your uh, company portfolio and, 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 uh, and services. So, uh, and then yes, to is break the value. Of course, this is all about creating the, the, the value. So you ought to break all this. So you will be uh, a, a, an innovator for, for value to create the, the so-called profit that all the companies like, of course. And all this, this system uh, aligns with, uh, obviously, with the activities and differentiation and try to create uh, uh, different markets and different solutions at a very low cost is the main goal. 
stop the game because you will be able to charge more. Uh, sorry, uh, one more. Uh, yeah, this is a, a, a actual a real example uh, of, uh, of of this strategy into a real business sector. As we all know, uh, Cirque du Soleil uh, is one of uh, is a is a new concept of circus that was I think yeah they were definitely the first one to do. Uh, as you are aware, of about I don't know exactly the time, but maybe five years or ten years I, I don't know. The circus has been it's been through a, a very difficult times because obviously the animal rights and the way this 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 business was operating is just not profitable. It's just it's just not creating something new to the expectators where um, they one they it, it's good to be there but the kids like it but you always expect and know what you're going to be seen so you are just in the end of the day again competing into this red ocean where you already know what you're gonna see you have the animals you have the, the trapezists so it's nothing always new. So they were looking. They were obviously losing a lot of consistent business, and they were not struggling to get to get uh, this uh, this business sustainable. And obviously, the big hit was the animals, where there were these big scandals where they mistreat the animals and all this. So people start thinking, why do I want to go to circus if these guys are really doing all this? You know. So this Cirque du Soleil completely changed the concept of circus. So how they did is what I just earlier I said, they followed a, a very conclusive strategy of sequence where obviously the problems that what they did, what they, how they found it is they, they got rid of the star performers. So no more trapezists, no more focus of um, uh, like a specific star, you know, a specific show or, 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 or skill. Then obviously the animal, there are no more animals because of all the situation that they had. And then was the sales, the concession of sales. Obviously they are shifting from one point to other point. They don't have the contacts in those areas. So they have to rely on a lot of agencies and which makes them lose a lot of the profit even though the costs are the same because of as, as they said here they they remove also the multi-show arenas because they're moving all this logistic from city a b c d it's obviously a very costly exercise so they what they did is as you can see the canvas study so as you can see the prices that the the the, the one below is the circuit sol oh one second so the canvas is how they actually try to get the value against your competition so as you can see there is the the, the price the price they actually managed to charge much more than than the conventional circus Star performance, as you can see, they come to no star performance, performance, no animals, no concessions. They will have only one, not only one, but they will have a, a fixed show or theater or place of, of a high profile that they will execute the shows. Now, in terms of fun and humor, they were sky high, as same as the others, because what they do, they do performing show, where they do this, uh, like, like, a bit like the theater, you know? They created, they created the scene, and, uh, and, and it's all about the performance of the act, other than the performance of the individual that is, was before performed. So the, the thrills and the danger is still the same because this is what attracts, attracts the, 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 the people the, to go on to the circus. They also found that the unique venue 
is a way more advantaged solution because obviously it's all set up, it's all fixed. You can capture much more uh, attendance because they can travel, they can come. You can get uh, um, partnerships and uh, like franchise and things in different parts of the, the world. So obviously there is no logistics, no, no, no moving from uh, country A to country B or cities. So as you can see, it's, um, it's right up. The theme, so what they did is the, obviously the normal circles had no theme. They, they only have what the acts were. So they added the theme. They uh, refined the watching and the environment multiple productions and artistic music in, and dance. So they created the circus out of a normal conventional circus. They created a normal uh, a theater, a show, a nice entertainment to the people that obviously create them on the blue ocean where they charge now, as we all know, quite high on their prices and, and is a new concept of circus. And I'm sure they, they, they are enjoying also the profits. Um, sorry. Yeah. So, so the 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 authors. Um, so, so they they were the, they are Zhang Kim and Rene. They are from uh, Harvard uh, University. They they they've been a lot doing a lot of this research. This is a classic. Uh, let's say this is now a classic strategy, been used not only in business. I took a lot of this for my day to day life. Uh, but yeah, for, for people that are more interested into business, I'm sure they, they would like to read this book because it's, it's more practical examples on how to engage the teams, how to, to, to make it more efficient when it comes to the business side of it. Uh, so yeah, I, that's, I finished. If anyone wants to ask uh, anything. Thank you very much, uh, Joao. Yeah, I know that's a that's a classic book, isn't it? It's 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 like I think world famous, and yeah, so many people have actually been been quoting examples from this. So thank you very much for sharing uh, your thoughts on on the blue ocean strategy and that example of the. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Cirque 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 du Soleil. Cirque yeah. du Soleil. That was a I think fantastic example, which actually really. Uh, clarified things and made, made it made it easy to understand what the what the whole uh, blue ocean strategy was yeah so that was uh, that was absolutely great 